So on the flip side, then, how often and how much should we be feeding our adult bearded dragons? So um, adult bearded dragons, we're feeding. So once again, if you can, if you have quite large, like a bearded dragon, a ma- large male bearded dragon, his head's pretty big. So, you know, you're talking about, um, you know, I still go on, you know. So, for example, if I'm feeding a bearded dragon, I tell my clients five I don't know how to a large roach I, I understand australian woody roaches are quite small compared to some of these american type roaches i think these american type roaches you wouldn't want to feed more than three to four twice a week and then um you know then you'd have about a volume of greens about the size of the bearded dragon's head um three times a week so, and then obviously increase or decrease based on their body condition hmm. so would you flip that based on how would you change that based on the female being gravid would you just increase the portion size um i would i'd add in an extra um protein size on it um and i would be very careful with um adding too much protein without the required calcium because a reproductive female so from our blood tests, there is an increase in calcium in the blood, a four to seven fold increase in the amount of calcium she needs during that time. So that's a lot more calcium. Um, and they use up, they, any animal that lays eggs, it uses a lot of their bone reserves. Um, so ensuring there's enough calcium will allow them to not develop um, any fractures or utilize it uh, to overtax their bones. Um, but yeah, especially calcium dusting and increasing the protein there as well. So, because the proteins required for the albumin and then the calcium on the egg. But also if you're breeding as a responsible breeder, that calcium, 30% of the calcium is from the shell is used by that hatchling as the form of skeleton. So if you have a female that is not getting enough calcium um, and not laying down enough calcium on that shell, those hatchlings are already predisposed to metabolic bone disease and calcium deficiency straight out of the egg. That's if they make it out of the egg if there's not enough calcium or vitamin D. The clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had Beardivet on the podcast. If you want to find the full podcast episode, you can find that up here. Or if you want to carry on looking through the Beardivet Explained series, you can find the rest of it down here.